Today I'm going to be doing the experiment. It's called string of spikes. What you will need is 12 inches of cotton string, two cups filled with water, one spoon, and then two tablespoons of baking soda. First you take one tablespoon and add it at one tablespoon of baking soda and, and add it into each cup. So now we added the baking soda into each cup and I'll take each end of the cotton string and gently add it into the cup. And now what we will do is let it sit for two days and you shouldn't do anything to it, anything to it, just let it sit. So this is what happened after two days. And if you could see there like a few bubbles or like clumps surrounding it, and you could see that there are a few spikes. And this is what has happened after two days. So if you could see it and pick it up, you can feel that it's all wet. And you can see first that a few spikes came out. And there are a few clumps. And a few threads came out or as and this happens because of osmosis and it's because the string is drier than the water and so the water gradually comes with the string and also the baking soda does because it's also in the water that makes it come on the string too and the baking soda makes the string the cotton string have clumps and spikes and if you can see, I just figured out that there are bubbles surrounding the cup. And now let me see what happens when you stir the baking soda with it. Whoa. It gets like really, and it looks like Sprite. And it feels weird and you hear the noise. And it looks much different than this. You see, without any, and you barely can even see the bubbles. You try to get your spoon and go through the bubbles. First, when you go to the bubbles, it looks like it wouldn't get off, but then you tried the second time, and it was like, like bang away. You see these bubbles? I'm trying it, but it's pretty, I, I first did it first try, the bubbles are still there, and I'm gonna keep doing it until the bubbles. Let me try the second one, if the same thing happens. You'll first see what you hear. You hear that? And it looks like salty.
and you see this, right? And you keep stirring it, and you come back to it and see that this is starting to become a bit clear. And you see this, and if we both wait, and if we wait, let's see what happens if they turn back clear after one day. And if you keep stirring it, and see under it when you stir, it looks like right here on these sides, you'll see that it looks like there's clouds surrounding or this really weird fluffy thingy. And let me see for this. Don't you see like that cloudy thingy and like dust? And again, let's check back on these after one day. And do you know when you saw the cloud and you were like turning it, um, spinning it with the spoon? I think I know why. You see on the bottom, there's a bit of baking soda on the bottom and if you like move it, it creates a bit of cloudy dust. And when, when you stop for a while, like all comes back on the ground. But I'm wondering why the baking soda goes on the bottom when I feel like those really thin baking sodas are so light that the water, this much water can't even hold it. And I will show you here because all the most of it came down. You saw that? A little bit thing come out. It's starting to get cloudy again because of all of that thing I made. And all the mills, all the baking soda came up together all around the glass. That makes it feel like things. It makes this type of color. And when you let it settle, it settles down. So let's check back on it after one day. So now we kept it for a whole day. And you'll see that the baking soda is all on the bottom. And there are a ton, like a ton of bubbles. Like on this one and on this one, you see like a ton of bubbles. You see that? So this will happen after one day, a ton of bubbles. Now let me mix it. And you can see that the clouds came back, like when we saw before. And there, we did not wait for a whole day. We just took it out after two days from the thread. And again, this is really different than this. But did you see how in a whole day, this became like regular clear water? Same thing happened with the thread. It became regular clear water. And the baking soda is easy to pick up. And it looks like some weird, like let me show you. It looks weird. You see the baking soda is like dripping down. And then you see right here, that there are many tiny bubbles, like many tiny things in that water. Same in this, like many tiny bubbles surrounding it. If you can see, same in this. Let me quickly get the bubble. And this was, and so this is what happened after a whole day. And if you're noticing that the ba baking soda is always settling on the bottom of the glass, this happens because the molecules in the baking soda and the molecules in the water don't mix. So what happens is the baking soda goes all the way to the bottom of the glass and stays there and they both, and if you stir it, it won't mix because their molecules are different and the molecules don't combine. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. And give it a big thumbs up.